Okay, welcome back to center court here at the uh, Mesa Arizona Cup. We've got men's doubles action. We've got Martin Emmerich and Daniel De La Rosa against Mohamed Alhouni and Samuel Lee. We got the first point to Emmerich and De La Rosa. De La Rosa had his forehand there. Daniel De La Rosa has been ranked as high as number one in the world of racquetball. He is also a tremendous pickleball player. Incredible athleticism and uh, quite a bit of power. I've played Daniel personally, and uh, his, uh, his overhead is not something you want to be on the court to face. He hit the ball about as hard as anyone. I'll wait here while the referees get organized. One zero two, De La Rosa serving. Something you might see as well here, Jim. Daniel is used to diving. I mean, literally flying all over the court in racquetball, and he has actually done it in this sport of pickleball as well on this hard surface which does hurt, tends to scrape you up, but it, if it is tight and it is critical, you will definitely be seeing him diving for balls. Nice backhand there from Martin Emmerich, getting the ball back, 1-0-1. One, one. It's a nice attack to his backhand. Balls down and below the net, he hits a little roll. Roll means with a little top spin on it, but takes it to his outside backhand. 2-0-1. Early in the match, nothing wrong with that. Just again, got to get used to the court, the ball, the air, all of it. That will come around. He just timing's off a little bit, or even the depth perception and the, the wind against him. You know, it's really it's it's quite interesting at how well Daniel De La Rosa plays this game of pickleball. We typically tend to think that all the top players come from high-level tennis, um, and Daniel never played tennis, to my knowledge but yet plays pickleball so very well that you won't see a lot of top spins. Those are all slices or flat shots from him. Daniel's favorite sport is actually golf. Talk to him about that. Yep. Oh, great defense. Really good four-way point going here. That's a smart shot. I think you're going to see that all day long. Emmerich sees that, that opening, and he's done it twice to him now, so he realizes that that paddle is not up. He, that ball's not come back yet. Lefty-righty playing a lefty-righty. Three-zero-one lead here for Emmerich and De La Rosa. Early in game one. Nice. Oh, what a love. What a That's a nice talk. That's calling him off. What a lob. What a put away. Defensive shot. block there from De La Rosa. Let him go on the offense. Emmerich showing some really nice touch on his backhand here. The one thing I will say about Daniel, and this is, this is due to the sport of racquetball. I mean, your, your hand-eye 
reaction time. Your, I mean, there's a difference between reaction time and reflexes, all of that. His hands have got to be some of the absolute quickest on this tour. And that comes a lot from racquetball. The racquetball travels so fast in an enclosed area. He's very patient. Alhuni and Lee getting the serve back here. I think you're going to see one four one. Seeing Emmerich and De La Rosa maybe targeting more of Samuel Lee. Alhuni right now, the stronger of the two. Really nice drive there by Alhuni. Got away with one. I'd really like to see Samuel Lee attack a little bit more. And he's got the opportunity, being the first to strike. The ball is up. Great, okay, there was an opportunity when it's up a little bit more. Strike that inside out, that left shoulder of Emmerich. Right there, there you go. That ties it up. Oh, I'm sorry, took a lead there, 5 4 1. Nice shot. Nice, nice, nice. Good sequence there. Some good reset from Lee, but not enough. You see both, both offense and defense in these points. 5-4-2. Alhuni and Lee with an early lead. Great reset. Still staying back as the ball's going to bounce up a little bit. But this is, this is probably something as players begin to learn this game, if they're coming in new to pick a ball, I'm not putting a number on it, but a beginner or even a 3-0, 3-5, or just saying they're beginners or advanced beginners, is tend to just swing every ball hard. And that's how you bring your skill level up, is being able to hit hard and soft, being able to put a ball into the kitchen. When do we go in the kitchen? When do we attack a ball? Can we block? Nice hands there by Daniel De La Rosa. Let me tie it up at five. There's that's a little There's long. a classic mistake. No. <laughs> Drive the first is fine, brings you to the midcourt. Next shot is a drop. 5-5-2. Five, five, De La Rosa having a little bit of trouble with his touch on his backhand. He's left, left a few into the net here. That's right, you know, this is where you see the difference between the, the higher ranked players than some of the other pro players. Just, again, just the precision of their shots, that ball into the kitchen, it's a reset, it's back over the net, it's this and that, ever, and the angles of them don't have quite as many unforced errors. That, that's Daniel, probably a good Daniel call. Daniel De La Rosa with a couple of errors, calls a timeout, so. Great defense from long. Emmerich. Ball left up just a little bit high from De La Rosa, but Emmerich with his quick hands. Uh, 
Uh, nice backhand roll there by Martin Emmerich. Five seven one. De La Rosa serving. That's a nice shot. <laughs> I think I said this the last match. Caitlin Christian driving balls a lot faster than they look. Same thing with De La Rosa. He hits a drive. That ball is like right on top of you. Alhoudi and Lee look like they're trying to focus on Della Rosa's backhand. Daniel with a pretty defensive style on his backhand, just trying to softly cut, reset the ball with it. We see that again. Mm, to his forehand. He forgot he was left-handed on the outside. Alhoudi and Lee with a 7-6-1 lead here in the middle of game two. Game one. Ah, that's a nice drive. Again, inside out to his backhand to the outside. That was a well disguised speed up from Daniel De La Rosa. Paddle out front. Wow. Not that time. <laughs> He's like, not twice in a row. Alhuni and Lee with an 8-6 lead. Should be 8-6-2. Yeah, Alhuni returning with that drive to the De La Rosa backhand. So with a rare <laughs> top spin attack off the backhand, and it worked quite well. I think he's going to have to go to that more. It looks like a strategy for Malhuni and Lee to, to uh, make the De La Rosa backhand a focus. No, I, I'd agree with you on that. 7-8-2, De La Rosa Jim. serving. De La Rosa would love to much rather play a hard, fast game. The side out to Alhuni and Lee at 8 7 1. Looking for a run to see if they can close out game one. Probably one of the toughest things for most people that come into the game when they're new, too, is when you've come from other sports, everything's aggressive, is that patience. Hitting that softness and being patient is really difficult. Again, we see De La Rosa reacting to the to the Alhuni Lee strategy of targeting his backhand. He's gonna he's gonna be a little more aggressive off the backhand side. I think that's a smart move by De La Rosa. Yep, no, I agree with you, Jim. Hundred percent. Good call there to let that one go. Seven eight one. <laughs> Daniel De La Rosa trying, trying to tween her from transition. Not the easiest <laughs> shot in the world. <laughs> he does like to try that, and he also will try the uh, behind the back. Oh, just missed it. Called wide, referee overrules, yeah. overrules it. Alhuni not, not pleased with that overrule. The referee had a pretty good look at it though. You know, the referee's job typically is not necessarily call lines, but to look at the feet on the kitchen line. That ball hit close to the kitchen line, so it's an area where the referee's got a little bit of an advantage being an area where they're, they're focused, properly focused on. So a good, good call there by the referee. Yep, good little frustration swing in this last and that last point from Alhuni, frustrated with the call and then takes it out on 
not necessarily the, the smartest shot. Seven, eight, one. That's a great setup shot. From below the net, Ahuni takes his forehand, a little roll, a little top spin roll right up at the chest of Emmerich. Sets up the next shot to put it away. There's Ahuni using his length again. Mm -hmm. Looks like he's probably about 6'4 so, or so. Say, yeah. Maybe 6'5. Pretty lanky with really long arms and great reach. He used it to with a reply where he says, well, I'm going to cover a little more middle, be a little more aggressive. So we'll see what the next move in this chess match is. Mm. That's just quick hands. That was right, that's all that was. Very good play. Sam Lee with a nice counter. Thought it was a winner, but it came back. Alhuni likes that drive down the line to the De La Rosa backhand. Definite spot of attack. 9-7-2. Wind having a little bit of factor down there right now. Wind coming through from the west side. He's waiting for Travis to pull that trigger. He got Al Hooney out to the, the outside, to his backhand. Oh. A little oh. bit further. Easy, straight ahead, you go kitchen line to kitchen line straight ahead, 14 feet, but you go cross court, it's like 29 feet. Martin Emmerich here serving at 892. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> we got our first come on too here. Yeah. I don't think we're going to hear an Andiamo, but <laughs> Lee and Alhuni with a 9-8-1 lead looking to close out game one. Nice resets oh. there by Lee. Oh. oh, very nice reset. Set himself up. The Had the high backhand. Returned. But could not convert. Uh, it's such a smart move. Uh, it's just a very smart move from Alhoney. Again, got a hit behind him. And a game point at 10 8 2. Oh, see ya. Yeah, and the match ends on a point that I think was the deciding difference in that game where Alhoney just supplied a little yeah. more offense than anybody else the official ball of the PPA Tour.
and we're back here at the Mesa Arizona Cup. We're start of game two. Samuel Lee and Muhammad Al Huni winning game one. I like the strategy there again of Amarek of creating the speed up. I mean, they both got such quick hands. That's how they started out the match. There he took it up Al Huni's shoulders that time, took it up higher on him. Zero, zero, 001 Martin Emmerich to serve. You see uh, De La Rosa missing another soft backhand third. He's had a little bit of difficulty with it. There's a couple of good ones. <laughs> That's a great. That's a great point. Great defense, Emmerich. Finishing it with an offensive attack down the middle. Some good athleticism from Al Hooney. He's a pretty good singles player and uh, can cover a lot of court and showed it there. Players having a short discussion there. I'm not sure about what. 102. Those Hooney. the ones you say sorry, but. Uh -huh. The ethical thing, but you never really mean that. Al Hooney with the best shot in pickleball. Oh, what a shot. That's a tough shot. That ball dropping so quickly. Maybe just a little premature on that shot. And again, who he's attacking. And the ball's below the net. I think Alhuni and Lee again see the safe zone as the De La Rosa backhand. Mm -hmm. Daniel, when he gets a forehand, looking to attack. Wow. First, when he hit it, I thought it was going out. I'm like, well, that's the right shot. And it, it landed in. Beautiful N shot. Nice flip by uh, Samuel Lee. Good top spin on not hitting it too hard. 3 1 1. Great defense. Wow. <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> wow. I mean, that's fabulous defense from these guys. Almost got right back into the point. Three, one, two. Lee serving. Nice. Lee with some nice resets off yeah. that backhand. Oh, what a smart shot. Yeah, I agree. Great resets with Emmerich just reading that little flick of his topspin backhand down the line to Lee's backhand. Two, Look. three, one, some good power from Dilla Rose off that forehand. He can, that's his racquetball background. When he wants to, he can hit the ball as hard as anybody. But there's the flip side of it, <laughs> inconsistency. Exactly. Side out to Al Hooney and Lee, leading 3-2-1. Both teams now really kind of zeroing in on one player on the other side of the net. One targeting. Mr. Lee and the other one targeting De La Rosa's backhand, as you said. That's exactly, I mean, seriously, that's exactly what they were doing at the beginning of the first game. And they now have gone back to it. <laughs> wow.
Alhuni almost getting that one back. De La Rosa again can hit the ball about as hard as anybody. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Looks like Emmerich and De La Rosa have made a decision to target Lee and target him aggressively, power it at him. Nice shot there by Alhuni, kept it in, didn't overhit. I'm, uh, I'm questioning, actually, I mean, why, why did you go away from hitting it to Samuel Lee? Well, he countered well that time. Two points, they've driven, they've taken each third shot over to Al Hooney. driving it got to keep driving it but again go back to, go back to the what was working four three one it's a great serve right at the baseline on the serve five three one back at it. I don't think Emmerich has lost too many of those points when he has attacked Lee. I think Lee and Alhuni need to keep it over outside a little bit more, keep it away from Emmerich's forehand. Yes. Get another service return error. These, these are things right now, I mean, those are things especially killing them, are the unforced errors. 6-3-2. I don't know if you see that from up here, Jim, of just how quick his hands are, and it's just just a quick snap. Service error. Three six two. Wow, is wow. right. I, I got to <laughs> applaud that one. I'm sorry there's not more people here to watch this guy play. It's gotten a little chillier outside. So. Uh, Jack Sock in the audience applauded that one. Really. Another miss serve. Six, three, two. Game two, Alhuni and Lee won game one. De La Rosa Emmerich are gonna continue to pick on Samuel Lee's backhand. Alhuni says, I'm gonna respond by covering a lot more court. <laughs> That time they didn't get away, get away with it. But yeah, and sometimes it's the partner. You know, you got to just let it happen too. I mean, not getting upset about it. Right now, obviously, Alhuni is the, the stronger of the two, but you got to stay in there still do your job. Uh, nice net cord for De La Rosa. Gives them a... 4-6-2, cuts the disadvantage to 4-6-2. Ah, nice, nice response. Yeah, I think by now Samuel Lee knows that he should be sitting backhand. 
ready to counter. He's going to just see it, see it until he proves that uh, it's not a successful strategy. Oh, nice hands there by Della Rosa. 6-4-2. It's wide. Again, another unforced error. This is number eight of this game. Questioning that last call, it was out. The referee's correctly affirming the call. Good job there. 7-4-2. That, that pop-up, Alhini <laughs> and Lee were fighting over it. Oh, honey, I see you apologizing. I'm sorry, you go, okay, it's okay, it's okay. I mean, they won the point, it's like. Uh, he's mainly countering defensively. I think he might want to counter a little more aggressively from time to time. Wind picking up a little bit here on center court. See Alhuni taking a lot of court, and there's the speed up. Yep. We're just. Brought the ball to, uh, to Emmerich's forehand. Yeah. You know exactly what he's going to do. Emmerich is just going to hit that shot over and over and over and over until Lee proves he can counter it offensively. <laughs> same, yep. same again. Yep, got it. Communication here on a, just a little miscommunication, I should say, on the one shot. But yeah, you, you've got to take him out of the point, take him out of the play completely. Five, eight, one. That ATP call wide by Della Rosa. Rosa. Yep. Did look wide to me. That was confirmed by the referees. Yes, referee correctly confirming that wall was wide. Oh, what a pretty shot. I don't know if there's an official term. In my, my camps, Jim, I call it a willy. He hit an off-speed ball, shoulder height, falls in deep in the court. I call it a willy, but I don't think it's in any book anywhere. And a side out to Alhuni and Lee. Going to serve at 8-6-1. I think they want to try to close it out here if they can. You don't want to let... Uh, Della Rosa and Emmerich sneak back here and steal game two. Yep. You see that go cross court, yep. Uh, I think it's short. Lee trying to drop to the Della Rosa backhand. You feel kind of this lull right here in this part of the game. Little, little, I'm not gonna say there's a momentum shift. There's really not a momentum at all right now. This is the toughest part of the game to kind of hang in there still, be patient. Now you can, you can start to feel it a little bit. Emmerich showing a nice speed up off the backhand side that time. He's done some good offensive things off the forehand that time off the backhand. Reset. Oh, wow. That's a, wow. Great attacks. Wait, I mean, great attacks by Della Rosa. Some of those were not easy shots with the backhand. 8 8 1. Uh, Della Rosa calling that one out. Hmm. No argument. 
nine eight one. Not sure I'm understanding the drive right now to Alhuni at all. That's really not going to gain you any ground. 982. There you go. Drop it. And that's back in exchange. I think we can look for a speed up at Lee. Oh, Lee tries it. Emmerich was ready for it. Well, that's a, one thing I noticed earlier in his mix match as well. He is, Emmerich is so good, even with his backhand to the outside, just very quick and his paddle is always up there. Like he's always ready for that ball to attack him, when most of the time they don't, but this, in this case he still was ready. 10-8-2, a game point here for Emmerich and De La Rosa. Uh, feet moving a little bit there, just caught him off balance. 8-10-1. Wow, nice shot. Again, going to the wrong person. Eight, ten, if, you're, if your target is De La Rosa's backhand, he's dropping the forehand to Emmerich. You're going to pay for it. Again, to his forehand. Footfall call. Footfall call on De La Rosa there as he was trying to sort of half Ernie. I think that was a good call. Not easy to spot by the referee across the court, I think, but I think it was a good call. Nine ten two. Nice reset. Got to be patient. Nice resets there by Ernie. Wow. Oh, no. okay, this will be interesting. This will be interesting. Somebody called out? Ball called out. Alhuni clearly thought that ball was in. We don't, we don't have the best angle from here. It looked, looked awfully close, I'll say that. Ooh, that's an out ball. Very difficult for De La Rosa to let it go. But uh, leads to another game point. I think that's game point number three, 10 9 2. Well, I, I think if they, they get this ball back and win this point, I only wins this point because I think he just got fired up even more. If they can get through this one point, might be. Yeah, he's. He's, low. He's, he's definitely fired up. He did not like that call on that baseline. It's a good job there by Samuel Lee anticipating the drive at him, the speed up at him, and he did a good aggressive block back at Martin Emmerich's feet. That was a well done shot. Wow. Oh, oh, oh my wow. gosh. Holy cow, okay, that was the defensive play of the day. That was that was incredible. That was great defense by both players here. Uh, you know, Hooney, both of them with great gets. Oh. Emmerich and De La Rosa with powerful overheads, both angled. Just to keep that ball in play. That huge point making it 10-10. Those lobs, excellent. Wow. Wow. I tell you what, that's gutsy. That is really gutsy. <laughs> that's just Daniel De La Rosa is not the, not the tallest player, but he's very athletic, good leaping ability. He's not right. that easy to lob. And, uh, Hooney with and a I just think it super caught well him off lob. guard, yeah. too. I mean, you don't see too many people lob at 10-10. 11-10-1 and a couple of match points. That's a oh. nice, that's a nice Calhouni speed wants that up one, by wants Emmerich. That one back. He had a shot at it. He's got his forehand. 
And that leads us to another match point, 11-10-2. required. Oh, wow. Samuel Lee wow. with a nice. Wow, speed up a, and finish. A rare speed up from him, but <laughs> at just the right time. Excellent job by him at just the right time. Excellent job. Uh, Alhuni played very, very well and <gasps> took control of most of that match, but Samuel Lee with the great move on match point. 11-10-2. 